Hello, everybody. How are you doing? How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Nice. Hello, Anna. Hello, teacher. Okay, there you are. Awake or still sleepy? What? Awake? Or no, today no. Today no. That's okay. Good. Yes. So today is a normal day. Normally, I'm right. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. Nice. And then, uh, Maria is here. Andrea Dajanara is here. Catherine, good evening. Oh. Okay. All right. Thank you, Catherine. And Martin. How are you today? I'm working all day. Okay. Yes. Good, good and bad, right? Uh good because you have you have work and money. <laughs> bad, bad because the the car is is Broken. a mechanic problem. Ah, okay. Yes. You have you have to fix it. Yes. Okay. Uh, but we, <laughs> but you do you have a good mechanic? Uh, oh, you fix it. No, no, no. Okay. The mechanic. Okay. Yes, yeah. it's a good mechanic. Yeah, yeah, because nowadays there are uh, there are not many mechanics, right? I guess yes. it's difficult to find one. Okay. Good. Is, uh, uh -huh. He's a teacher in in the institute, he and and he he had a a, a, a teaching to to mechanic, and the 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 weekend he working in mechanic in in his in her in his shop in, work in, in, work his, in her house. Yes. Okay. Hey, that's nice. So he teaches, but he also works uh, as a mechanic. Yes. Ah, okay. So that's uh, that's nice. So he has two jobs, and then but uh, when he works as a mechanic, he does it in his house. He works in his house, right? Yes. Ah, okay. Good. I think it's a it's a good good idea. Very smart. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just let me share my, okay, there's another chat here. I have a little problem with my laptop right now. Ah, uh, okay. Good, Maria. No problem. Let us know when you're ready. Okay, fine. Okay, now I'm going to share. <clears throat> Let me to extend it. Okay, here we go now. Now we can extend this. So we have, uh, yesterday we were talking about the, in this station, you will develop skill listening and main ideas, right? So before that one, wait. So here we have release and unreleased sounds. Remember with the T and D, Hi, everyone. We want you to get better on your pronunciation. 
please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Up your list on the least and do. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound t or do at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working in science. You need to manage money well. Release. Okay, so in this case, Okay, this is the sound of T. Okay, like this one. Okay, not good. Hate. The letter E is not the uh, doesn't sound. So the letter is also T, right? So you say hate. Then the E does not sound in this word. They say hate word. Yes, Martin. Do you have a question? Uh, the audio in, in the video is, is low. Okay. Let me help you with that. And I play it again. Okay, thank you. Now. Hi, everyone. We want you to get better on your pronunciation. And now? Okay, good. Take it. Now listen again. Pronunciation. Please listen part. and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released, t and d. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound t or d at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. Okay, so she's not good. Okay, she's not good at good at. She's not good at math and science. Okay, try to imitate those sounds. Right, now it says it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. She's not good at. She's not good at math and science. She's not good at math and science. Okay, um. The other one is, I hate working. I hate working on Sundays. I you need to manage working. money well. You need to manage, you need to manage, you need to manage money well. B and T. Okay, you need to manage money well. So she's not good at, okay, she's not good at math and science. She's not good at. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage, you need to manage, or you need to, you need to match the two forms, okay? Now, uh, Diana, would you please read the three sentences? Okay. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money very well. Money well. Okay. Money well, okay? Now, Repeat this one. She's no good at math. She's not good at math. Good at science. Good at. Good at. Okay. Read good again. at math. Uh huh. She's not good at math. She's not good at math and, and science. science. She's not good, She's at, not math good at math and science. Again. She's, She's not, not good at math and science. Okay. She's not you good know? at math and science. Okay. One more. One more. She's not good at math and science. Good. Okay. She's not so good is... at math and science. Thank you. Okay. This is, for example, the way that you okay. have to practice this uh, kind of exercises, right? She's not good at math and okay. science. She's not a good at math and science. Then little by little, this is like a tongue twister. Do you know what a tongue twister is? No. No? Uh, Kenya, do you know what a tongue twister is? Kenya? No. Yes. Do you know what a tongue twister is? No, I don't know. 
Okay, now here, so. I'm gonna give you the, the short version of this tone twister. Tongue twister. Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Can you read in the chat? Kenya, she sells seashells by the seashore five times. I can try. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. That's, <laughs> that's the attitude. <laughs> Go ahead. She, she sells mm -hmm. the shells by the seashore. Okay. Continue. Five times. She sells. She sells. She sells. By the seashore. Continue. Three more. Okay. She sells. She sells the sales by the seashore. Two more. She sells. She sells. She sells seed sales by the sea seashore. Seashore, uh huh. One more time. She sells seed sales by the seashore. Okay, good. You see, this is to practice the sh 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 sh. Right, you say she sells seashells by the seashore. Then you say sh sh sh. sh. Then this is the sound, right? You have to say so that we don't say chi. She says not chi, she, like sh. Okay, she sells seashells by the seashore. 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 Okay, Anna, tell me the tongue twister. As, right, fa as fast as you can. Okay, I try. Mm -hmm. She sells the shells by the seashore. Okay. Go ahead, continue. Three times. Okay. Three times. Ah, okay. okay. She sells the shells by the seashore. She sells the shells by the seashore. <laughs> okay. And she sells the shells by the seashore. Okay. That's what they call it, right? Tone twister. What is a tone twister, Diana? Remember, like, mm -hmm. okay, uh -huh. there uh -huh. you go. Uh -huh. That is a tone. <laughs> I don't remember. Tone twister. Sí, la uh -huh. <laughs> twister. Okay, good. Then, uh, Martin, say the tone twister. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay. She sells seashell by the seashore. Okay. She sells seashell by the seashore. She sells seashell by the seashore. Very good. Nice. Herbert. Okay. She, she, she sells seashell by the seashore. Okay. Three times. Three times. Okay. Yes. She she sells seashells by the seashore. Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay. Good. My turn. Yes, Luis Miguel. Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay. She right sells seashells. Uh, sorry. Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. Yes, okay, very good. 
So you see, the more you practice, you know, the better it will sound, right? And then you're becoming to, then you, because you're pronouncing she, sells in third person, uh, see, shells, then you say buy the seashore. Okay. I don't know if anybody else, Byron, Juan Carlos, Catherine, oh, Catherine said that she has a problem. Okay. If you want to, Maria, too. Okay. Good. So then, uh, yes, Maria, are you there? <laughs> Good evening. Hi, hello. You fix the problem? Yeah, yeah, thank you. All right, good. Okay, so then, no, we were practicing, you know, with the pronunciation and uh, short tongue twister, but tongue twister, so we have this one. Okay, now look at the, continue with the words here. We have, so that's why she's not good, okay? She's not good at. When you read this sentences like this, try to read them uh, on release, right? Like, like one word, good at, good at math, good at math. They say she's not good at math. She's not good at math. She's not good at math and she's not good at math and she's not a good math and science. So then you are uh, expanding the sentence every time that you say. You can begin at no good at, no good at, she's no good at, she's no good at, she's no good at math, she's no good at math, she's no good at math and, she's no good at math and, she's no good at math and science. And then you will feel that your uh, pronunciation and fluency becomes more flexible, okay? So that we are not very tense when we speak English, right? So remember that you have to speak normally uh, in a natural, natural way, okay, not to force it, right? Not to force your English, like to sound, oh, uh, trying to imitate or overdo it, okay? Not to overdo it. Thank you. Now, uh, Juan Carlos, can you read these three sentences here? The three sentences. She's not, I hate, you need. No? Can't listen? Okay, Maria, can you please read this present? Oh, the, the pronunciation, the... The three sentences. Uh, okay. She's not, she's not good at math and science. Okay. I, I had working on Sunday. All right. You... You need to manage money well. Okay, you need to manage money well. Okay, now. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the follow. You need to manage money well. Okay. So then, uh, Kenya, can you read the three sentences here on the right? He's not a good artist. He said, listen, he's not a, he's not a good artist. Artist or artist, right? The artist. He's not a good artist. Now listen again. Released. He's not a good artist. Okay, yes, Kenya, go. She's not a good artist. The next? They really hate it. Good, and the last one? I need a cup of coffee. Cup. Cup, cup. Cup of coffee. Now repeat this one. I need a cup of coffee. Perfect, right? Yes, I need a cup of coffee. You see, I need a, I need a cup of coffee. Good. Okay, Anna. Okay, teacher. The three sentences. Oh, is that a good artist? They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. Perfect. 
Martin? He's not, not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee, right? A cup of coffee. Good. Uh, Maria? Oh, he's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. Need a cup of coffee. Hey, Andrea. Yeah, he's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. Good. Byron? Yes, it's. <laughs> read, read hey, the hey, yeah. Uh, he's another he's another good artist. They really hate hate it. Mm -hmm. I need a cup uh, of coffee. A cup of coffee. Good. Thank you, Byron. Miss Miguel. Yes. Hi, teacher. <clears throat> These three sentences. He's not a good a good artist. Artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. I need a cup of coffee. Okay, good. Now, uh, Catherine, no, you said no. Okay, Nia, it's already Herbert. He's not oh. a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. I need a cup of coffee. All right, perfect. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Okay, the better you get. Now in this one, uh, there is a, in this session, you will develop the skills in listening for main ideas. Okay, remember that a main idea is, for example, the principal topic, right? So here says, listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each student. Okay, so here we're going to try to guess this, for example, the, the kind of job. And also, for example, the, the job that best suits to a person, right? That like fits somebody that suits to, for example, if you have a, a physical skills and you like to do physical work, Okay, probably uh, if you go to the gym and if you uh, like to be fit all the time, you have a good, uh, let's say, uh, eating habits, maybe with those, uh, with all those uh, characteristics, maybe you could be a gym instructor, right? To be a, or maybe also a, a nutritionist. Okay, so there could be some things that a uh, jobs that a person like that with those characteristics could have. Uh, if you have a, maybe if you like visiting places, traveling around uh, and drive a lot, maybe you could be a, I don't know, a travel agent so that you can travel to different areas of the country or to other countries, right? And then probably you are the driver. Okay, now we're gonna listen to this. First, only listen. It's a little bit of slow, so I'm turn off my camera. Listening. Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. 
I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9-to-5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Page 66. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Answer these questions. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9-to-5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Okay, so there we have the the jobs, probably the best to do each one. And there's a bill, we have flight attendant, teacher, some writer, channel, lawyer, bookkeeper, doctor, Ben, it's a marine biologist, a biologist or model or architect, right? So do you remember which was for Bill? Fly attendant. So fly attendant. Okay, what about Shannon? Uh, who was doctor? Doctor. 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 Okay. Uh, and then. Model. What should be a model? The model. Okay, so there you have the job hunting, right? Now we're going to listen only to the first one. Listening. Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. One. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? 
That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. Two, Shannon. What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family. Okay, then look at, listen to this. I like a job where I can help people. Yeah. Yes, and I can help people. To have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. Three. Ben. Yeah, listen to this. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well... I don't want a regular 9 to 5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Okay, so please, uh, I'm going to give you, uh, let's see, 38, four minutes, four minutes, please uh, think, okay, think about uh, a job that you would like to have, and for example, what are some of the characteristics that you have, okay, like this guy here. Page 66. Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again. Answer these questions. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love... Okay, this is perfect, right? I love working with people. Or you can say, for example, well, in my case, I don't like working with people. I like people, but I don't like working with people. And then traveling. I don't want to. And I like to travel. Job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? Okay. For example, you know, um, I want to. I don't want to be in an office. I don't want to be in one place. I want to be in different places. Okay. So yeah. then uh, the guy wants to be a pilot. Mm -hmm. right? That's where you can mm -hmm. see make money. I'm not really mm -hmm. interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. Okay, yeah. Uh, yes, who was speaking? Uh, I understood. Uh, she said uh, she likes stuck. Uh, uh huh. Just, I mean, to be just in one place. Yes. Okay, he doesn't uh, want to stop. He's a, a coach potato, no? No, no, he's not. No, no. That's why I say he doesn't want to get. He doesn't okay. like that. He wants to be in different places. Okay. Uh, he does not want to be in the in one place only. That's what. Taking lessons yeah. as well, so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. That later. Two, Shannon. What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9 to 5 job. Okay, he says, I don't want a regular 9 to 5 job. Yeah. Something different? Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen mm. for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure.
Page 66. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Answer these questions. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. Okay, this is it. I don't want a job where I will stuck. Not like sitting in one place all day. He doesn't want that. But like, you know, people who work in offices, they have to spend all day in the same place. They don't go out. Yeah. But some people, you know, feel probably not comfortable, but they feel they feel fine. They just, it's okay. Uh, for example, in my case, if you ask me, I can be in an office for more than 30 or 40 minutes. So I have to go into different places in the, in the school. Uh, that's why, you know, I like to, to interact with the people. So then in my case, I can't. I can't be in one place for a long time, right? Only here when I, when I am here and sit, sitting in front of this class, I have to be here for one hour, but you know, I'm always moving and doing something else. Yes. Yeah. Teacher, was... uh, how do you say uh, trabajar desde casa? Home office. Home office, yes. Uh, for okay. example, not during the pandemic, during the pandemic, I was working from home. I mean, we was teaching online. I was spending, uh, let me see, from uh, 7 to 11. That was, well, when they had started classes from 7 to 12, you know, five hours in front of the computer. Obviously, I have some little breaks, but most of the time I was in my house. Uh, when the pandemic finished, I was feeling, you know, like mm, it was difficult for me to go up the stairs. You know, I uh, because I was like, you know, I had lost uh, a lot of flexibility in my knees, my feet. Because yeah. I did much exercise. So then I started doing exercise again, uh, running, playing football. But it took me like maybe one year. I never got sick. I never got the, the COVID-19. I never got it. So I never got a flu, nothing. But only staying in my house was very, very difficult. So no, uh, staying in the house is not, or in one place is not for everybody. There are some yeah. people that they spend their life working in an office, and and that's fine, but not for me, right? Not in my case. I agree with the guy, so I prefer to I'm not a, move to I'm a place. Thing. Okay, yeah, I think this that's the best way to do it. Okay, good questions. Okay, so please, uh, I want you to practice. And then please think about some uh, characteristics of the job that you would like to have. For example, uh, as I said, right, in my case, I like to interact with people. I don't like to be in one place, okay? I don't like to be sitting all the time. Uh, I enjoy uh, doing research uh, in books or in computer. Uh, I I love doing some exercise and also share with the sports with other people. So then uh, that's why, you know, I, I could be a, a teacher, as a teacher, I feel comfortable because, you know, I play, I play with my, with other teachers at noon. Uh, I interact a lot with the students. So then I feel fine with that job. But I could also be probably, a, I don't know, maybe a travel agent. I would also like to travel and move to different places, also interact with people to be in different places. So I could be a travel agent perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna give you three minutes, three, four minutes, okay, to, to think about what you want to do. And then I will, uh, I will ask you to to give me your information and the job that you would like to have. Okay, four minutes. Individually think. 
Okay, think about this. And I will be I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, just let me go and check some get some water. Okay, ready? Okay, so we need a volunteer. Who wants to be the first and just, you know, and share? For example, what what are your characteristics? Those uh, abilities, things that you like, things you don't like, and what is the job? Okay, that you would like to have, like this one, say the the job that you would best be best for each. Uh, well, in this case, a student, but in this case, which job do you think would be best for you? Okay, Herbert, do you want to try first? Okay. Good. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, what, 
What do you want? Tell me, okay, uh, tell me your features, your activity, I mean, your skills, your abilities, and what what is the best job for you? Okay, uh, my, my job in this moment is uh, 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 an accountant. I like the, the, the number. Uh-huh. Uh, you are good with numbers, okay? Yes, in, in this moment, I, I, I work in, in uh, an, account, an accountant. As an accountant? Yes. Okay. What other ability do you have or what other ability does uh, an accountant need? An accountant need... Um, Other abilities, uh, uh, the other, well, no, abilities, uh, I like to match. Okay, uh huh. Match. Uh, I like, I, I don't know, to play chess. Or, or is, uh, is mm -hmm. it about Joe? Only, only right? yeah, no, yeah, but uh, abilities that are related to, to your job, yes. Ah, for the job, ability. Mm hmm. Uh, maybe on, only. Maybe? See. Si. Only that? Only that. Okay, good. No problem. Mm -hmm. uh, Luis Miguel? Sure. Uh, so, I love everything related with technology. Okay. I don't, I don't see bad working home office. Mm -hmm. What do you say uh, that? I don't I, mind. I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind working. I don't, I don't mind, mind working, working home office. Uh, no, I don't mind home working office. from home, or I from don't mind. Office. I don't mind doing home office. I don't mind doing work from doing. Okay. okay. I okay, don't wait, mind. Wait. Okay. Wait. Wait. I don't mind okay. uh, working from home is one. I don't mind working from home. Yes, or you can say, I don't mind doing home office. Okay. okay. I don't mind home. working from home. Okay. I like it. Okay. 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 So what is the best job for you? Uh, I am a graphic designer. Graphic designer. The graphic designer. Mm -hmm. And I work in, in my, my, our family business. Uh, I working from my house, but uh, sometimes uh, I go to my taller. Uh, or do you say taller? Workshop. Workshop. Worship. Shop. Workshop workshop mm -hmm. uh, uh, sometime i go to my workshop but it's only one or two times for weeks but uh that's what do you fix there in the workshop computers cars uh, no uh, we or my family business is a uh, estampado no sé ah okay es. So Estampados, they... uh, banner, publicidad. Okay, print like <laughs> like printing. Printing. Uh huh. Print. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, and uh, también. Also. Uh, also. Also. Uh, we 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 make a uh, shirts, uh, cup coffee cups. Oh really? Just uh, like. Uh, Think for uh, souvenirs. Exactly. Uh, uh, personalizadas. Uh, customized. Customized. Customized, uh -huh. customized uh, shirts, caps, uh, uh -huh. lanyards. Okay. Good. Uh, every everything the the souvenirs. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so you have like a printing shop. It's printing shop and designs, exactly. right? 
Yes. Okay. Exactly. Friends and ah, okay. Okay. Uh, So I am a so innovate in, innovate innovator. Innovator. Uh -huh. Innovator and creative. Okay. Uh, I like to take pictures and film videos and make a video for my work and only for jobs. For for hobby, sorry. Okay, as a hobby. Good. Uh -huh. You see, you have a lot of skills and abilities. And then the job of a graphic designer uh, matches with your abilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, nice. Um, anybody else who wants to participate? Me, sure. <laughs> okay, Anna, here we go. Okay. Um, um, I'm looking for a, a you know, um, mm -hmm. um, like a secretary. Okay. <laughs> because I, I, I have a experience mm -hmm. in this area, um, in different areas about uh, uh, secretary, secretarial job. Okay. Secretary job. job. Yes. Um. Uh, uh, I, uh, I can use a uh, different equipment, <laughs> and I, 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 uh, I use uh, I, 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 I work. I have worked um uh, with lawyer and <laughs> the different okay. areas. Uh, I'm sales. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Accountable <laughs> in the account, in the accounting too. In, in the accounting, oh yes, like um, like uh, like my last, my my last yes my last job uh, it was in in a print in in, in print is 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 good uh, the, 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 print, the print printing shop printing shop imprenta right yeah okay yes printing um. And I when when I I lost my job in the pandemic, but I hoped the next year uh, the next year I uh I find a new job. Okay. A new job, yes. yes. I hope so too. I hope to so too. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Okay, Andrea Dejanara. Share your experience. Share. Well, I just start to work in, in September. Okay. So I have, uh, no, I don't have a lot of experience, but in my case, I like to work in a creative space. A home office, I don't like it. No. Uh, I have a pasantia uh, in uh, the last year. But uh, I don't like it. It was like three months and it was in home office. I don't like it uh, because in my house, there are, there are a lot of people. So uh, it is uh, distracted. I don't know how to say this. Get, dis get, dis get distracted. Get distracted uh, with my family, with the cats. Uh, the 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 this feeling about the there 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 is not a air conditioner in my house mm -hmm. so it was like very very hot stressful mm -hmm. uh -huh. and very stressful for me yeah. and uh, I like a uh, well I will like a place with you know like uh, uh, colors and coffee. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes have a, a you you have passed a, a lot of time sitting so I will like some some I don't know like uh, uh, I saw something uh, in the the office of Google for example that mm -hmm. is some creative space they have like place and um Balls. You, you can work you can work in the cafeteria uh -huh. exactly something like that mm -hmm. yes i think you know we need to be more relaxed in our jobs 
Mm -hmm. uh, but I think the culture in Latin America is still uh, very uh like a, they they want to treat us like a slaves, you know, like esclavos, mm -hmm. right? Because uh, sometimes uh, you can there are many things that you can do from your house. Okay, you can do home office, and and you can finish your job in maybe less time than when you are in the office. Because in the office, sometimes there are also many distractions. But the boss here in, in Latin America, they want to see that you are there. Okay, they want to see you in the office, right? They want to see the people. If they don't see you in the office, they think that you are not doing anything. And, you know, and then, and sometimes in the office, we also waste time, right? So mm -hmm. it's not, a, so I think it's, it's a culture. It's something cultural because, uh, I have friends that work for international companies here in El Salvador, and they work from their house. They they don't go to the office, and when they have they have meetings every day uh, to see how they are doing the job. Uh, they have to present obviously the reports or finish when they finish work. They have to present it to to their bosses, and the people do it professionally. Right, so then they don't have problems. They don't need to. They say, for the company is better because they don't pay the rent of a place, they don't pay the electricity, they don't pay the coffee, they don't pay uh, toilet paper, many things that you spend in the office. Okay, so I guess it's a it's it's a, it's a good balance, right? Okay, thank you, Diana, for that experience. It's a good one, right? Anybody else who wants to share something? No? Kenya, Juan Carlos, before we go, one more. I don't have a lot of experience because I graduated from the university this this year, but when I started studying in the university, I always wanted to work in a court. And last year, are, I, you, a lawyer? are you a lawyer? Actually, uh, it's a oh. little different of the un United States because mm -hmm. when you graduated from the university, you are a a lawyer. Licenciado. No. Ah, okay. A BA. It's the other process after the the the, the career. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yes. maybe the in February the next year. Ah, okay, very good. <laughs> so you're very close. Huh? Yes. Very, very close. Um, but you're going to and, be in the for example, when you had to be in the in the panels or business. Or civil. Mm, which, I which, like family. Oh, family. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a very good. One. Yes, yes, and but there is a lot, and there is a lot of very work. common. Uh -huh. Sorry. And there is a lot of work in that area here in this country. Mm, yes, but all people like it, family or or criminal law, and it's more and there are less. No. Yeah work because uh, there are a lot of lawyers especially in these areas ah, okay yeah that's a, that's probably one thing right that there are too many lawyers yes but, yeah okay but you know but but the, the good thing is that there are a lot of uh different areas in which you can specialize too yes mm -hmm. okay what are your your strengths uh, that you can consider that make you a good student or a good lawyer? What are those abilities um, that you say, no, I have to be a lawyer, no matter what? <laughs> um, actually, I am in a internship in a mm -hmm. court. Okay. And I think that I, um, I like think uh, who solving to legal problems. 
-hmm. And I like it, think and talking with the others professional with a, a specific topic. And okay. how do they debate? Debate, to debate, to debate. To be day, and I think that is very important when in in this uh, in this career, because you need to read a lot, of, and and you need to think fast. Yes, I have to to give arguments. Yes, to to, uh, yes. to give arguments. You need to think fast, right? Because they they think they tell they give you an argument, but you need to be at the moment. At the same time, you need to be preparing your counter argument, right? Yes, of uh -huh. course. <laughs> yes, I mean that's uh, that, and that's an ability that not many people have. Yes, and, and when you have those abilities, you have to right. If you have the abilities to be a lawyer, that's nice. That will be your best job. Okay, people, I think that's uh, all for today. So we're gonna continue. We we have only two more classes. Uh, Monday and Tuesday. We finish next Tuesday. So Monday we're going to finish this reviewing this and the and the test. And then uh and we're gonna be we are going to be talking like today. I want you to practice your speaking. Okay, be prepared to speak about any topic so that we can review the five sections with different topics, different uh grammar points that we studied during this month during these four weeks so that you can you know have fresh what we studied okay so have a very nice weekend be good enjoy rest and remember listen to music in english and watch movies in english dream in english read books in english okay make your life english for the for the rest of the year because you know then you're gonna have a long vacation all right so have a very good night bye bye good night, good night. Very good. Good, night. Bye -bye. good night good night good night good night everybody